the name of a judge. This judge will have a question for our competitors and they'll have 30 seconds to answer that question. They will get a warning sound, which will sound like this. Wow, that was just so pretty. Now that means time's gonna be up and they have to wrap it up, so let's get the ball rolling with the USA. We're starting with Richard Goma. Ah. <laughs> Brittany, if you would be elected Miss Earth 2050 and you were given the chance to speak to President Obama, what would you ask him regarding climate change? What a big question. So, first off, I would definitely have to sit him down and tell him that it's not just about him, it's about our country. Because as Miss Earth, it's including, it's being the voice, it's influencing, and reaching out to every single person. So, I'd sit him down and make sure that we would include every single person. Thank you very much, Miss USA. She'll give the president a talking to. Wow, ballsy. Next up, we move on to the lovely lady from Australia. Hello, my dear. Your question will come from Lorraine. How are you? Are you doing well? I'm feeling great, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Okay. This is honestly a dream come true. Thank you so much. I, I, would, I would just like to know if you, if you happen to have an environmental hero. Hey, if not, that? it's okay. Sorry, Lorraine, could you speak up a little bit? Yeah. No? I'd like to know if you'd have an environmental hero. If yes, it's okay. If no, it's still okay. But why? Yes, absolutely. I'm from the land down under Australia and Steve Irwin has been an incredible hero to me. I'm sure all of you know him. He's an incredible activist, conservationist and lover of animals and I have aspired to be just like him. I believe that he was one person that inspired millions of people, children, adults, with his humor, with his informative documentaries, and that is what I want to strive to do as Miss Earth as well, because I believe that knowledge can create change. And when people are inspired with passion, they will act. And that is what I love about Steve Owen. Fantastic, great answer. Thank you, Miss Australia. I love Steve Owen as well. I had the great opportunity to meet his daughter once as well. She's fantastic. Now, we move on. To the lovely lady from Brazil. Oh, now I need a step. There we go. Our question comes from Katarina. When you come home from this pageant, what will you do in your country for the environment? Hello, good night everyone. I'm happy to be here tonight. And yeah, first thing I'll do, I'll thank God for being here today. And I would like to talk to my people because they don't know how serious the situation is. In my country, the problem is education. Our children don't have education. We are going through a hard time right now. And my uh, my paper, my, uh, what uh, I will do, I'm sorry, what I will do is tell the children that the climate change is very dangerous and the, uh, what's going on right now, it's because of it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brazil. Absolutely, the children are our future, as they always say. Next up, Philippines, come.
It's more fun in the Philippines, that's what they say. Ava. Dear Miss Philippine, the slogan of Miss Earth for the last 15 years is beauty for a cause. If you were asked to propose a new slogan for the next 15 years, what would it be? If I were to make a slogan for the next 15 years for Miss Earth, that would be, we will because we can. I want to let everybody know that all things are possible and all things are feasible if we work together. We will because we can. Good answer, Philippines. Congratulations. Four down. We have four more. Crown continues with the Nitty Ladies. We will start with Austria. Hello, my dear. Our judges, Yasmin. Hello, Sophie. You look beautiful tonight. My question for you is, compared to our parents' generation, do you think that this generation is more friendly or less friendly to the environment? I think this generation is more friendly to our environment and I think we have to teach our kids how they can live a healthy life and to save our Mother Earth. Let's hear from Miss Austria, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, the lovely lady from Chile. Nice earrings, by the way. Very beautiful. For this, we will go to Nadia. Wow. I'm so happy. Um, Nati Vididat, you look so vogue tonight. So beautiful. So my question will be, if you would become the next Miss Earth 2015, what will be your first project in your country? Once again, <laughs> okay, so once again, Natividad, you look so vogue tonight, you're so beautiful. So, if you would become the next Miss Earth 2015, what will be your project in your country? Buenas noches, Viena. El proyecto social que yo realizaría, bueno, está vigente en Chile. The social project that is already running in Chile is. Es el reciclaje. Is recycling. Con ello ayudamos a los niños con bajos recursos y a familias vulnerables. With that we help uh, people with uh, with less money, on vulnerable vulnerable people. Y al Ministerio de Flora y Fauna. Ministerio de Flora y Fauna. And the Flora and Fauna Ministry. Y hoy en día con el Ministerio de Chile estamos creando un proyecto a nivel país. And right now we are creating a project in whole Chile um, with this ministry. Thank you very much, Miss Chile. And to our handsome translator as well, looking very sharp, my friend. Two more to go. Next up, Colombia. Norbert. Um. 
Hello, Miss Colum Columbia. Hello. Uh, if you would uh, become the next female president of your country, what would you change? Si fueras elegida la presidenta de tu país, ¿qué cambiarías? Eh, ok, creo que eh, el presidente actual está haciendo una gran labor. I think that the actual president is making a great labor. Y yo como presidente eh, impulsaría eh, el cuidado del medio ambiente para obtener un planeta verde. And as a president, I will impulse the uh, taking care of the environment to get a green earth. Me basaría en la educación y cultura a los más jóvenes. I will take care of the education and culture of the youngest people. Para que entiendan que si la tierra nos da día a día. To understand that if the, day, if the earth give us day after day. Nosotros también podemos devolverle algo. We have to give them back something. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you very much, Colombia. And now for the final of our top eight, ladies and gentlemen, Venezuela. Uh, we go again to Richard Goma. Good evening, Miss Venezuela. You're looking beautiful. Uh, you seem to have in your country a lot of problems at the moment, but if you are in charge, what would be the first thing you would like to change? En tu país en este momento hay muchos problemas, pero si estuvieras a cargo, ¿qué, fue, qué sería lo primero que cambiarías? Buenas noches. Lo primero que cambiaría sin duda alguna sería la educación e implementaría. The first thing that I will change uh, will be education. I will implement. E implementaría el amor hacia el medio ambiente y la conservación del mismo. I will implement the love to environment and the conservation of the same of the environment. Ya que eso en mi país es está un poco um, se podría decir no abandonado, pero sí le hace falta más cuidado al planeta y sin duda alguna sin el planeta no podríamos vivir, tenemos uno y es el momento de salvarlo. And right now, the, in my country, I will I will say that this is a problem that is a problem that is, is not taking care right now. But uh, we have to make the change to help this, uh, the environment and save our planet. ¿Y qué mejor manera que darle amor a los niños? And which better way than give love to the children? Well done. Thank you very much, Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all of our top eight. That is not an easy thing to